Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now today what I'm going to do, and you may have already watched the unboxing video. If you haven't, feel free to check it out. This is the Kinevo BTE 4.0. Bravo Tango Echo 4.0. Now it's Bluetooth stereo headset, so not just my neural. And one thing I wanted to point out since the unboxing, after I delved into the owner's manual, I found that there's a microphone built into this as well. So if you were looking at the box and you were not sure whether or not it has a microphone, it does. And the microphone's on the top. It's that little bitty piece, little bitty circle between the headphone jack and the, uh, the USB charging jack. So what I'm going to do, and this is the first time I've used this, I'm going to plug in my headphones, the headphones that came with the Kinevo. And, and again, very nice, I must add. They've got, they came with the additional uh, earpieces if you had a bigger ear or smaller ear, ear uh, size or whatever your preference may be. So I'm putting the left one in my left ear and I'm putting the right one in my right ear. Not, not far in, I don't want to give myself a, an ear problem. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pair this device. So what, I, what you do to pair it <clears throat> on the very top, it looks like a little phone, old, old school phone icon. Hold that in. I'm sorry, and this is user error. Had I read the instruction manual, I would have known it. Turn the device on using the on off button and then hold down the little phone icon until you start seeing flashing red, blue, red, blue. Now I'm going to pair it with my MacBook Air. You could pair this with a myriad of devices uh, that have Bluetooth. Uh, but what I'm going to do is pair it with my MacBook Air that I've got right here. So it's looking for the device. It found the device. BTE40 is what it calls it. I'm simply pressing pair in Mac OS X. and it says connected. So one step that it did not require me to do and it may on other devices, but it said if prompted, enter pass key 0000, zero, zero, zero so four zeros. So now what I'm going to do is fire up a YouTube video with royalty free music and I'm going to see how how well this sounds here. So just a moment while I connect to that content. And I really like, while I'm getting connected, I really like how you can clamp this on your shirt. If you want it to be visible, you could put it on the outside. If you wanted it to be less visible, you could put it on the inside of your shirt, but still have your, uh, your microphone available. And if you wanted to be even more discreet about it, if you're doing a live show or something, you could route, excuse me, you could route this, uh, <clears throat> this cable through your shirt and maybe even put it in inside your sport coat. Like I got a little pocket right there. And and we'll demonstrate that more here in a minute. But let's see, let's test the audio first. Uh, so again, I'm going to a royalty free a video on my channel that contains royalty free music. Uh, something I've, oh, Sean Coonery, the internet celebrity joined us. What do you think about the, uh, the Kinevo BTE 4.0? He said, personally, I think it's great, but he said he wants to hear it too. Don't worry, Sean Coonery, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you hear that. Okay, so I'm firing up a video here with audio. Very good, cl clear sound. Now I'm going to see if I can adjust the volume using this. You can go to no volume. You can go to some volume. Wow.
Sean Coonery concurs that it's very clear audio. Um, it's definitely stereo because this track, that this royalty-free track that I'm listening to as part of a video is left and right channel uh, stereo. Okay, well, <clears throat> I will say the audio clarity of this is is stunning, or stellar, I should say. It is uh, very crisp audio. Uh, something else that's cool about it is just the size of this. Now, this video, I'm not going to test the integrated uh, microphone, but what I'm going to do, and check it out, it'll be, it'll be posted after this video, uh, check out the video where I demonstrate using this device in conjunction with the Google Hangouts on Air. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Hangouts on Air, it's a live, uh, it's a live video and audio format, kind of like Skype, kind of like a FaceTime on your iPhone. Brings up another good point. You could use this with your FaceTime. You could use this with your cell phone calls. Uh, you could use this just to listen to audio. Uh, you know, paired with a Windows computer, a Mac computer. I mean, the possibilities are somewhat limitless. And what I was demonstrating earlier from a broadcasting perspective, and I'll, uh, like I said, I will do an actual live show where you can hear the audio from the integrated microphone in this while I walk around my studio. Uh, but what I want to do is demonstrate making this, uh, making this a little more discreet. So what I'm going to do Whoa, Sean Cooter, no, not a cat toy, no, whoa, whoa, for real, he said he likes this, and you can check out Sean Coonery, the internet celebrity right there, his videos on, uh, go to seancoonery.com, uh, I'm Sean Coonery's official agent, and let's see, so I'm going to put my right earbud in. I just can't get, I can't reiterate how nice these look. It's got that chrome type finish on the back. The earbuds are very comfortable. I, I'm not a, I've never been a huge fan of in, in the ear type, uh, type headphones, but these I really like. And, and when you're, uh, when you're involved with live broadcasting, something that's in the ear is better. And, because my other Kinevos that I have are the uh, are the uh, uh, the over the ear type headphones, and not that it's a problem. They're awesome, and I use them for my live shows. But your viewers can definitely tell that you have uh, headphones on. But see, with this, you can be more discreet. So you can put your uh, you can put your wire through your shirt. And then put the control unit with the microphone kind of in your pocket. So looking at me now, I mean, yeah, I've got uh, I've got a wire run into each ear. But when you're doing a uh, live broadcast, it's not as distracting to the viewer because when a viewer is looking at somebody that that has uh, has earphones on, they're more noticeable than than a discreet uh, wire going up to the ear. And likewise, for a live broadcast, if you didn't want to do stereo, you could simply insert one ear, and then you've only got one cable going up. Because ultimately, with a live broadcast, you're wanting to hear the other party, but you don't necessarily care if you're listening to it in stereo. So what are my, what are my initial thoughts regarding the Kinevo BTE 4.0? Well, as you saw in the unboxing video, the packaging is very nice, aesthetically pleasing on the outside. Uh, one thing that I would recommend, one thing that I would recommend, I would really emphasize that this has a built-in microphone because when I look at the box, although it says hands-free calling, I don't get a, uh, and, and it also says standby and talk time, implying that you would be speaking using this but it doesn't scream to me that it has a built-in microphone because if I was if I was in a store and looking at this Kinevo, I, I may would question that and since it's not listed, 
And keep in mind, it is listed in the in the owner's manual inside, but since the presence of a microphone isn't clearly specified on the outside of the box, it, it could uh, it could potentially uh, deter someone from buying an otherwise awesome device. So that's my only complaint. The packaging inside was very well designed. The box itself looks very pleasing. The uh, just the quality of the components. I like the uh, well, well, number one, I like the size of the uh, of the of the device itself. I mean, that's in my hand right now. It's about the size of Sean Coonery, the big Maine Coon cat's ear. See, what do you think about that? He said he concurs. He feels that this is the perfect size. Look at that. Hey, there you go. There's the Kineva. Yep. And I like this, uh, the rubberized feel of the, um, of the earpiece. Uh, something that is a little bit interesting, and it's not a problem, uh, something that's interesting is, is one, uh, one is longer than the other. So this piece right here is, is not adjustable, uh, but see the, the, uh, the right one, the right ear hangs down further. And maybe that's on purpose because maybe they knew that some people for broadcasting would be using one ear and then that makes it to where that, see that, that cable could be more uh, better disguised. So see I could put that in my right ear and then this, the only part that the viewer is actually going to see is, is that right there. And I mean actually what I might be able to do, well no, you're going to see if you're using this, you're going to see the, uh, the the wire a little bit. Not that that's a problem, but some people like to try to completely disguise their uh, uh, their wires when they're broadcasting. But the uh, the device itself, what I like is that the charger is not proprietary. It's the same type USB connection that one might use to charge a variety of devices. I've seen that same type USB connector on Blackberry phones. I've seen it on other cell phones. I've seen it on battery packs, extended battery packs for phones. So it's a somewhat universal cable, and I like that. It's not some sort of crazy cable where you can't just go online and order uh, order extras. Maybe you want to have one in your boat, in your car, your airplane, whatever. And it's just really nice to have that. And I like the buttons. How I like how this device is black because black is something that. Uh, oh, don't eat that. Nope. Um, black is something that makes it. Uh, <laughs> that made, that makes it less uh, visible. Like if I put it, even if it was slightly exposed underneath my sport coat, it would be less visible than a brightly colored device. So from a from a live broadcasting perspective, uh, that's that's a very nice touch. The uh, the location of the microphone on the top that's that's brilliant because you know you want your microphone if if. You don't mind it being visible, you can clamp it right there and you got your microphone right below your mouth, which is probably optimal. Now, like I said, the other video that I'm going to post after this one with the live uh, Hangouts on Air demonstration, check that out because you'll be able to hear the audio um, that, that, this thing can, that this thing can relay, which is pretty neat. And I like the uh, pause, the fast forward, the volume up and down buttons, the answer phone call button, which also doubles as a button to pair with your pair with your device, whether it be, in my case, uh, a MacBook Air, but maybe you're pairing it with your cell phone, maybe you're pairing it with a Windows laptop, Windows desktop, whatever the case may be. The included instruction manual was very straightforward. I was literally able to, and I am a tech savvy person, but I was literally able to open this and within uh, about 30 seconds, I just flipped through the pages, looked for the pairing, and it was on page six. Followed those instructions, super simple. Easy to, easy as pie to pair. So it's uh, it, it is a it is a really great device. And like I said, I also at the time of posting this also owned the over the year uh, Kinevo headphones. And, and you may want to check out uh, uh, that video on my channel too if you're not looking for an in the year. Uh, the over the year are really neat. And what's cool about the over the year and that's a separate video, but instead of having the uh, control things isolated from the, uh, from the headphones, 
It's actually built into the side of the headphones because they're because they're over the ear. Just really really cool. So it, yeah, I mean this this to me is a is a definite buy. It's it's a it, it's you can tell the you can tell the amount of of R and D that went into making this, and uh, even like I said, even Sean Coonery, the big Bain Coon cat, is is infatuated with this uh, uh, with this new BTE four zero. So that's all I'm going to rant and rave about. Like I said, check out the other video if you haven't seen the unboxing. You can check that out, and then also check out my live demonstration with Google Hangouts on Air, where you can see for yourself how well this BTE 4.0 will work with live broadcasting. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, conclude this video. Share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGA. And y'all have a good day.